Grace and peace be with you. This is Pastor Mariah from Church of Peace, United Church of Christ. We used to say that we gather at the corner of 12th and 12th. These days we remember that the church is wherever the Spirit calls us to serve. So from my home to yours, I welcome you and I thank you for joining us in worship today. I have a few announcements to share with you. First of all, due to the rising number of COVID cases, several events have been canceled. We had been planning a car caravan this afternoon and that parade of cars around to our church members' homes has been canceled. Also canceled is Las Posadas. That was a new tradition we were hoping to begin in the Quad Cities, and now we plan to begin that tradition next year. So no Las Posadas this year. It is the case that next Sunday begins the season of Advent, and I do want to give you two heads up about our worship service for next week. First of all, one of the things our worship service will be doing is celebrating how Advent begins in the dark. And our worship will be a blessing of the darkness. So if your schedule permits it next Sunday, I invite you to consider coming to church in the evening, kind of like a Vespers service. Now, let, let me tell you, the playlist will still be up Sunday morning. So if you are the kind of person where you go to church on Sunday morning and that is the time for church, don't worry. That option will still be available to you. But if you, if you have the freedom in your day, I encourage you to, to join us a little bit later, maybe as the sun is setting, and see how that changes the experience of worshiping God. One more thing about worship next Sunday. For Advent, we are celebrating how all of us have the light of God already in us and already in our homes. So we're lighting the Advent candles by using any candles that we find around the house. Next Sunday, you will need one candle to join us in following along with the Advent candle videos. If it happens to be the case that you have no candles in your house and you wish you did have a candle, let me know. I bet I can find a way to get you a candle sometime this week. Um, but if you do have any kind of candle, that will be useful for worship next Sunday. And finally, I just, speaking of one candle, want to show you this cover. I want to give a huge shout out and word of thanks to everyone who made possible our Advent devotional celebrating our year of caring and service. This is a whole booklet with every day of Advent, a different devotional to help us turn our hearts toward God during this holy season. It begins this Saturday night. So if you did not get one of these booklets and you wish you had, please let the church office know and we'll do our best to get you one this week. Hopefully you got one. And if so, just I pour out so much blessing and gratitude for all of the words that fill these pages. I hope that it is a blessing to you this season. And now hear these words as our call to worship, which comes to us from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into the presence of God with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is God who made us and not we ourselves. So enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks to God and bless the name of the Lord. For God is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Hallelujah. 